All right, guys, welcome back. So now, Chris, we're really going to dive into the meat of of all the programming with with this system. So this is the true power of Nine Series Pro um, is is the light show options for everything. Yeah. First of all, you can tell we've got a pro system because we're cycling through colors. Yep. We're cycling through colors right now. So the main difference between pro and non-pro is the ability to for the lights to make light shows and patterns and light movement basically. Yep. So um we are going to walk through how to make a very simple light show uh it's a very simple concept it is. honestly the prerequisite of this huh oh, like nice that word, nice word. from my college days mm. so well, this is university prerequisite of that is scenes yes so if you haven't seen the scene video go watch that yep. first um if you have seen the scene video then you can pick up here and we'll show you how to make a light show because light shows are basically structured off of the scene principle. That's right, yep. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go make a scene for a light show. Now, the scenes for a light show are in a little bit different spot than regular scenes. This is so users don't get confused. This is also because if you go and edit a scene that is in a light show, you just screwed up your light show. So you wanna make sure that you do not. So it's buried a little bit deeper in the app than, than regular scenes. So we're gonna to go to menu, we're gonna to go to settings, and then we're gonna to go to light show scenes. Now, if this is the first time you're coming into this area, the password is one, two, three, four. You do have the ability to change that, uh, but the default password is one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our first light show scene, and we're gonna call this, um, what do you wanna do? You wanna do, let's do a Christmas scene. So let's do Xmas one. We're gonna make the lights go red and green back and forth. So I'm gonna turn light one to red and I am going to turn light two to green. Sure, there, good. And the feedback here tells me that that's the way they are. Everything's set the way I want. And now I'm going to save this scene. So a save on a scene, just like our regular scenes, are save as. The difference between a light show scene is that this scene will actually be stored in the light itself. And so when we hit save, what you're gonna see is the lights dim and come back up. And that is to show you that the light itself has now saved that scene into the light. All right, so now we're gonna go add another scene. We're gonna call this Xmas 2. And I'm just gonna reverse them. So I'm gonna make the first light green. I'm gonna make the second light red. Okay, everything is set up how I want. Double check and make sure everything's good there. And we're gonna hit save. All right, now you'll notice that message that just popped up. So that's telling you how many scenes, how much memory you have left in the light. So you get 64 scenes in the lights themselves to be stored. So that just told me that I had 62 left. So now that we have saved both of those scenes, we can come back and into the light show area and add a light show. Good. So we're gonna create a light show. We're gonna call this uh, Xmas Fun. And we're gonna make a custom light show. That's the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna say every second. So let's just change the tenths to zero and the seconds to one. Now my transitions are Options are no transition, which means it's just gonna go right from red to green. Blend, which means it's gonna go through the color wheel from red to green. Mm -hmm. So you're probably gonna get some yellow in there. Right. So you're probably not gonna want that at Christmas time. Yeah. Or you can fade in, fade out. So you can have the red come Dems down, down come comes back, back up, up to green. Yep. So those are the three options. Uh, they're great for some scenarios. For Christmas, I don't really like them because red to green in the middle, you get yellow. Right. So, uh, but you could do fade in, fade out. Sure. For sure. So I'm gonna say no transition there. And now I'm gonna select the first light show that I wanted to start with. So I'm gonna say Christmas one, and then I want it to go to Christmas two. So now I'm gonna go from Christmas one to Christmas two. You keep going back. And I'm gonna go back and forth. Now, if I had more scenes that I created, I can add up to eight in a light show. So you can make multiple scenes. 
Um, you can, and I, I don't know if you saw, but in the actual scene itself, you can have an ignore just like a regular yes. scene. Yep. So if you only want your trees to run a light show and your the rest of your stuff not to, cool. you can do that. Mm -hmm. So the options are really unlimited. Sure. They really are. You can do all kinds of stuff. This will get you the basics and then you can go play. So um, we're going to hit next on this. And now I'm going to save it. Now this takes a little bit to, to upload to the Correct. server and then back down to the transformer too. So what's happening now is our server's creating this light show. Now we're downloading that light show into the controller and into the lights. So this takes a minute. You're gonna see a timer on your app that'll takes about two minutes to do. So while we're waiting for this, I do wanna cover one of the things. So if you notice when I popped up the ad scene, I had my choice, custom or advanced. Mm -hmm. The difference between those two is that for every scene in a custom, they're all the same timers. Right. So if I want to go from scene one to scene two to scene three to scene four, all those timers are going to be the same for each transition and each each how long do I stay on the scene. In advanced, I can make those different. Sure. So we have done that for some Halloween scenes to where we're going purple and orange, and then we pop some green right. quickly. Yep. So in order to make those timers different. We use the advanced no. options. So that's that's the really get into your customization. So yep. we always say it's DMX style controls. It really is. It's made simple on our app. We've done all the heavy programming um, or lifting with the programming yep. so to make it to make it very user friendly. Yep, super user friendly, super easy. All right, we got the okay. Yep. So now we do have a light show. It's showing us it's a basic one, which is the standard one, not the advanced. Okay. Um, if we wanted to, we could go edit that light show, uh, but we don't want to. We just want to play it and show it how it works. What it does. There it is. Nice. That so yep. It really is that scene. One second transition. It, it's it's very simple, but this this really tells you exactly how to do it. Lays it all out. Yep. But you can get creative. That's almost the challenge. Is the creativity, you know, coming you up can, with these You can shows. do anything yeah. you want. It's yep. really cool. Um, I'm going to stop that, and then I'm going to show you if we make another light show scene here. So I'm going to add another one. I'm going to show you a couple things. So, number one, I'm just going to make a standard one again, so everything will have the same timers. But if I don't select no transition, let's say I do fade in, fade out. Then I get two timers. So now I get how long do I want us to stay on that scene? And then how long do I want that fade in, fade out transition to happen? Gotcha. So oh, you can make yeah. that transition happen really fast. You can make it happen really slow. So those two timers now on the basic, on the custom basic scene or light show, again, that will be the same for every transition. On the advanced, you can you make can those completely differently. Sure. So again, if you want to make this really unique and really custom, you have the ability to do, yep. do it. I would say most of your most of the ones we yep. create are the basic ones that that have the same timers and everything. Sure. But now I will say one thing too: when you get into a lot of the programming, uh, especially on the advanced side of things, it's almost helpful to have a sheet of paper. Yeah, if you have a lot of lights and doing a chase or no doubt about it. If it's more than a couple colors, yep. you definitely want to kind of write down what your scenes are going to be a little bit, and then and then It'll go go do it. Yep. It sure will. So um, that's light shows. Super easy. Super simple. One last thing is that you can create an event with a light show. Oh, nice. With prep. Oh, yeah. So uh, you can go, now that we've created this, so I'm gonna make a test event. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say, I want this to run at sunset, um, minus 15 minutes. And I want it to run the day after Thanksgiving. So let's do Thanksgiving plus one. I'll do New Year's Day minus one and select my light show that we just created and that will run the light show perfect for christmas perfect. between day after thanksgiving and new year's eve yep simple it is yep but call us if you have questions